pipelines. Sorry, pipes. Pipes A. No, let me take P and Q. Pipes P and Q. P and Q. P and what? Can fill a tank in five and six hours respectively. I'll take it again. Pipes what? P and what? Q. Can fill what? Respectively. Five and six hours what? Full stop. Continue. Pipe R. Pipe what? Can empty it in 12 hours. Pipe what? Can empty it in what? In 12 hours. In 12 what? 12 hours. In 12 hours. Taking? Full stop. If all the three pipes are opened together, if all the three pipes are opened together, if all the three pipes are what to? Are opened together? If all the three pipes are what? Are open together. Come on. Then the tank will be filled in. Then the tank will be filled in. Then the tank will be what? Filled in. Will be filled in. I have start solving. Let me look for the next one. I wish I would get another one. Meet more questions like this. Yes. What did you say? Sorry? Sorry, what did you say? What did you get? Yes, is there in the option? Who got the answer? Who? Two old number? Two old number? No, is there? Two old number, eight over. Is there two two point five? Don't go there. One one hour twenty one years imprisonment. Yes. Okay. You know. I will always give you shortcut. Don't go there. Don't go there. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Please, can we see it? Oh, yeah, look up. Remember. Remember. When we had two words. Pipes. Two what? 
What happened? We multiply over their what? We multiply over their who? The same thing here. Require time. Or you multiply for me. Get me? Five times. Times. Twelve. I said you still multiply. Are you with me? Yes. What I'm giving you is the word. The shortcut. Uh, look at it. If you don't watch me, you will ask me how I manage. I'm warning you now. You think I'm joking. Oh, yeah, watch. Are we ready? Yes. Multiply. Please touch her. She's not here. Come back home. Eh? Did I ask you to multiply the answer? Why, why do you like to, to, to cause problem? I said what? You did not even wait for me to finish it. I look up. Now, multiply the pipe to fill times the pipe to drain. That is five times who? You know this one is to fill. This one is for empty. Do you understand me? I, I know you will not understand. Which pipe is to empty? Which pipe? Twice is to empty. Okay. Which one is to, is to fill first? Multiply that five by the empty, which is five by what? Twelve. Is he understood? What is it that you don't understand? Eh? I am telling you that when you see a problem like this, after multiplying all of them together, is he understood? Then take the one to fill. Who is the one to fill? Who is the one to empty? Multiply them under. Is he understand? Now multiply the next one, which is who? Six. By what again? Then finally. Subtract. Finally, what to? If you want to be tired that we are solving this question, when you get to the hall, you see a question like this, go and slap the supervisor and go home. We are teaching you something. You are already fed up. For how many days now? People have been going to court and they are not tired. They want to see the end. Your own, I said, multiply this and this. You said, no. Multiply this and this. No. I will roast egg, fry egg, pan egg for you. <laughs> multiply five times who? Is he understood? Okay, those of you here, is he understood? Yes. I'm coming to you people. Five times six times twelve. That is the first thing you do. Then the next thing is, I don't want the answer. Stop compounding your, your values. The next thing, take the first one and empty. The next one and empty. Minus the two to fill. Are you with me? Now, we have five times six times who? Who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? Okay, let's go. 60 minus 30. is 30. 30 plus 72. So we have 102. Sorry? I have I have what? 5 times 6 
times who? Over who? Why only, why only? We can move. Are you with me? Six here is who? Six into ten is who? Remember? Into forty-two is who? It is seven. Did you say that? Five times twelve is what? Over who? The last time, seventeen went into a number. It was what? Fifty-one. Was it fifty-one? Seventeen can go into fifty-one. Okay, fifty-one. Fifty-one times three is who? Fifty-one times three. Sorry? Seventeen times three. So you see that seventeen can go into fifty-one. Which is how many times? Now, how many will be remaining? Nine over what? Everything in what? Is he understood? Now listen. Are we listening? Please. Remember I told you. That what I was giving to you was the shortcut. I go back to the first question. Go back to the first question. Yes, pipeline who? A tank. Listen. Please. This thing is not for everybody. For those of you that want to understand the concept behind. Attention. Pay attention. Five hours. Five what? Five hours. Was for one tank. Five hours was for who? That is pipeline A. Pipeline what? Takes what? To fill what? One tank. But look at it. Pipeline A takes what? The first question. Is it six hours? Six hours. To fill who? One tank. The first question is what? Oh, yeah, watch out. So it means that in one hour, in one word, what will pipeline A give us? It will give us one over six of what? Of what? Of the tank. Is he accepted? Is he accepted? Then pipeline what? Pipeline B will give us what? In which hours? Three hours. It will fill what? One word. One tank. In one hour, what happens to what happens to the tank? One over three. Is that true? So if they are working what? If they are working what? If they are working together, this one will bring his own. This one will bring what? His own. Are you with me? So, it means in what? In one word. In one hour. In one who? Tank and pipeline who? Solve one over six. Pipeline who? Will bring what again? This one will contribute. This one will contribute. So they will get. Can you get the LCM? E6. Here. It is one. One. Yes. It is two. Which is how much? Three over what? Three over six. 
Which is who? One over two of what? Of tank. Of who? Of tank. In what two? Cross multiply. Cross what? Oh yeah? Two multiply here. In two hours, what are we going to get? In two hours, both of them will fill one tank. 